Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a couple project shares using some of my new Scrap Diva Designs Design Team um, dies. And so I wanted to come on and show you a couple things that I have made so far. Um, I don't have all the die sets out here in front of me, but I'll tell you what their name is and I will make sure I link everything, um, including her website and including my affiliate link and also my discount code in case you decide you want to pick up any of these dies you can get 10% um, off your order so let me jump in and show you what i did so this one is kind of featuring three basic uh four well there's quite a few <laughs> quite a few of the die sets here okay but um this is one of the major ones so this is called the journal page pocket look how beautiful i love this okay um all these projects that i'm showing you right now i'm using the simple stories uh wildflower collection it is really pretty and like really um soft colors and just just beautiful so that's what i'm using on this one so my page pocket um my journal page pocket i decided to make of course a card out of it so here's my page pocket right here and then i also inside made it to pull out and this is going to be a card so i just decorated this so this will show through my acetate right here and then i sewed on a little piece of trim that's going to be that's my tab to pull out and then on the back i um stamped the the pieces some of the pieces that i cut out from the center i used um to layer up my the back so i could have a place to this decorated plus a place to write my sentiment and then I just put a sticker down here and and then I stamped um, have a beautiful day on it so it could be for a bunch of different occasions um, that was a, a Simon Says stamp uh, die set or stamp set that I've had for a while um, yeah it's this old, old one that I've had in my stash have a beautiful day he's got a lot of pretty sentiments in it so I use that for my card and 110 pound cardstock and then I have the pattern paper layered up here. And then um, here's the pattern paper on the front. And then 110 pound cardstock on the back. They're layered it up with um, acetate here. I use the two dice together to do um, my frame right here. Just frame it in gold. Um, this bow that I decorated with is from Scrap Diva also. It's the um, part of the, uh, I think it's, what's it called? Uh, bow bag topper so you can also do bows just separately without having it as the topper so that's what I did okay the flowers I used are the um, Sakura 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 flower <laughs> so I received that dice lot also so um, I used those here some of them I inked and then some of them I forgot to as I was going so anyway it got a little little bit of both um, and then I just used some I just layered up three layers of the, you know, three different sizes, layered them up, put some of those little gold bone balls from the Dollar Tree in there. Okay, this right here, I tied. This is another of the die sets that I just received. It's the um, Ladybug heart tag. So these ones I didn't make ladybugs out of, but I made two cute little heart tags, and I just strung them on some of this gold. I layered them up. I have foam and some of this pretty pattern paper, and then this is one of the brads from the uh, collection. So I think that turned out really pretty. And then I can just add that in there. I can send this out to somebody. I can, um, you know, write a sentiment on the back. I could put a car, you know, a gift card or money or something in there if I wanted to. And then the next um, die that I'm sharing also is this. It is called the card stand. Love this, must have for anybody who's doing cards or anything that you're taking that you need to take a picture of or display. I mean, you can just display um, like your, um, you know, projects that you receive in the mail, happy mail. A lot, I know a lot of us have um, areas where we keep a bunch of stuff that people make for us. And um, so this is a great, Thing to share um, to, I mean to have for displaying those and holding those for you and then of course if you do videos or photos um, perfect for holding them to take pictures and videos so anyway um, this is the first one I did this one I cut out of 
chipboard first and then I did the base layer which is this blue layer back here it comes with layering pieces so these pink ones are the layering pieces okay on the back um, I use the layering pieces on the back the, my chipboard that I was using had a white background so I didn't put another layer of you know the full layer of paper behind here I just did my layering pieces with the, another piece of paper from the collection so this is super thick and sturdy okay um, this die also comes with the heart it's a heart layering piece also I didn't use it on this one but I'll show you another one that I did how it looks it's really pretty so anyway this is just so handy to just put your you know your card or whatever you make and just set it in the holder how cute is that love it I didn't decorate this or anything you know the, the stand or anything I just wanted to kind of that was my first one I did just trying to see how it worked what I wanted to use but I um, mean just perfect for um, you know for displaying things so I have an old one that I had um, it was a actually it's a steel roll die I can remember who it's probably I think it was Sizzix and um, I love that one too but it was not quite as sturdy because it had like a little fold down flap you know that after you use it for a while with paper it kind of got wore out but this is so sturdy especially if you put you know two or three layers and and then <laughs> of course if you do like I didn't put um, chipboard in there then it is super super um, sturdy so anyway that turned out really cute really like that so that is my um, journal page pocket and my card stand okay and then I made another card stand so here's another one and this time I use the layering piece um, and I cut out the the heart layering piece so this one I didn't put um, chipboard in the in the middle I just have um, a piece of 110 pound white cardstock okay and then I cut out the pattern paper layering pieces for the front and then also for the back so it's it's pretty um, all the way around because you know sometimes you have it all different split you know display differently what would be fun for this too is you know as you give somebody a card you could also send them you know the stand and they can display it on their desk or you know a shelf or whatever you know you send somebody a, a pretty birthday card that you've you know put you know time and effort into it's just really cute I mean people that I send cards to they always like display them for a while so this would be handy to, to send with it so they could just automatically have something to display their card with that you send them so really love this die this must have okay and then I also made this okay this one is the um, flower pot gift card holder so here's a flower pot here um, again I've decorated it with some of the paper from the same collection I'm using okay um, I made some more of the flowers this is also the Sakura flower die set it has about well, let me show you this one's still together so I think it's got three sizes and I think there's four of each one so super handy so I love about Erica's die she always um, she doesn't you know you could buy something cheap and you get you know one little flower you know and you have to run it through 12 times to you know to make yourself four flowers you know where this one pass and you get all these different sizes all at once and it makes it so easy um, and time can saving easy on your arms and your hands trying to you know crank in the thing so anyway love love that she does that okay and she does it with multiple things too not just flowers but um, leaves and um, circle you know just different parts of the die sets she makes multiples of so you don't have to um, you know do it, run it through so many times so anyway this is a secure flower same thing um, these are the same uh, patterns and stuff now this one that I decorated here I used another die from the set um, and the pieces that I used came from if I can remember um, it came from I haven't used this die yet nope. Oh, it came from it came from the set two, I think, from the journal page pocket, I think. Let me double check. Pretty sure it did. It had some 
Yeah, it has some other things like, it had like these tools and stuff with it, okay? And then also some of the, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that. I'll link everything so you can see. <laughs> but it also had some other flowers. It had some flowers and some leaves. And so I used the leaves um, here and here. So it's got this kind of like a sprig. And then it's got this one that's kind of like this kind of shaped flower. Okay, so I used some of both. Cut some of both out and used them both on here. I tied a cute little piece of gold. Um thread type stuff that I had in my stash that my friend Deborah sent me. Thank you, Deborah. Um, I attached a cute little bee charm right here. And then this is a sticker from the sticker book from this collection. And I put it on um, cardstock and then put it up on foam. So I thought that gave it some good dimension. And then this is the card that you, um, you know, could stick down side there. I could have stuck it down farther, but I, I didn't. I wanted it to kind of stick up. Um, I've seen lots of uh, examples on this, and, you know, most of the people have flowers coming up all over, you know, like just how the flower pot. I decided to make mine like this, and I have just a little decor piece up here, and then um, I layered it both sides with pattern paper so I could attach a card here, you know, using the little slot thing and, and attach a card if I want to, or I could um, just use it like this as a card, and I can write a sentiment here or back here. Um... And I just put the two pieces together and it just slides down inside there. Okay. And so I made it just so that my, this part would stick up and my flowers are just kind of like barely above the rim of the pot. So I like how that turned out. So really cute. So then I was able, this is a lot um, narrower bottom, but I could still, or base, but I could still, um, I was still able to um, set this on my little card stand. So I could display both those things, you know, so easily. So anyway, love these dies. I will make sure, like I said, to link all these dies and all the info down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.